Hi YouTube, how are you? I am here to show you some of the stuff that I got for Halloween that I did up myself. I went to the dollar store and I bought some hands and feet, uh, some tombstones, and um, some other stuff that's going to be done up and ready. So, the first thing I want to show you is my hands and feet. Like, I think that they turned out extra good. Like, I love them. And, uh, so the, I'll show you the foot. This is one of the feet. And, uh, it's Kleenex that I glued on. And I, you know, just made some scabs and stuff there. So, yeah. And it's a little dirty and stuff. Now, this one here could be done a little bit better because I, you know, have to get more stuff to do more paint and stuff. But. That is the first one. It's really dirty from, you know, being underground and stuff and hidden away. And then we have a hand. Oh, I'll show you this one first. There's this hand here. Just dirtied it up. Put some scabs there and whatnot to make it look like it's rotting away. And there's some more stuff. So that one there is good. And then I got this hand. Same idea. Black pan top with blood. That makes it look really black and infected. That's a good idea. And, you know, a dollar for these plastic things that were really plain. And last but not least, this is my favorite. Isn't that awesome? Like, it's great. I love it. And it's Kleenex. You just glue the Kleenex on, wait till it dries, then color it browns and dark blues and grays, and just to dirty it up, make it look like the skin is really rotted, and then scabs, and then do the rotten part. With the, yeah. And right here in the front, that's like some muscle tissue, just to, you know, make it look like it's showing from being, from decap. From what's that word? Um, uh, I guess the cap. No, that's when they get the head cut off. <laughs> what's that word? Um, when it like starts to just totally rot away. Oh man, I can't think today. If it comes to me, I'll just have to shout it out. Eh? And I got some tombstones. Ah. I that I got the dollar store again. There is the first one. This is the Black Widow. That was gray, like the rest of the tombstone. So I just colored in black, or her black. And then, you know, and then I did the word die at the bottom. Because, you know, she has the tendency to want people to die, especially her mate. <laughs> So, that one. And, oh, another thing about these, if you have, um, if you want them bigger, and you want them thicker, just go to your, like, local hardware store. You can get Star, Star Phone, and you can, uh, buy some sheets. I think you can get, like, one big sheet for $15, and you can make them as big as you want. And you can add details to them, like like uh, skeleton face or spider, anything you want, you know. And they and they're thicker too. And then at the back, right here, you just take a stick, about maybe yay thick, and uh, you just put it for all the way down. And then you use that to stick them in the ground. That's what I'm going to do with these, so they stay. Because I'm not sure if it's going to be windy or not that night for Halloween. And then I got another one here. This one. Skeleton. R.I.P. on the top. And uh, 1802 at the bottom. If you can see that. And I just colored in his eyes with the black paint and his nose. Just to give more detail. And uh, yeah, that's another dollar store one. 
I'm going to be buying more of these because we're going to have um, a big graveyard outside. So, And then I have this fella. I like this one because the skeleton looks kind of creepy. And I put 1812 at the bottom. R.I.P. And I just colored in the eyes and nose and mouth and everything. So yeah, it looks looks pretty good. And then I you can buy um the banners there that you can hang up. Um, I got this banner. This is a skeleton. I never had any skeletons last year, so that's why I have a few this year. So there's that fella, and he's a pretty he's a nice good size like. I'm going to hang him up. I'm not sure where I'm going to hang him up yet. And then I also have I have one more thing from the dollar store that I want to show you that I done up myself if I can find. Oh, there it is. Hiding in behind here. Alrighty. This is a skeleton head. Uh, yeah. He's kind of brought in. Rough shape there. I use Kleenex to make the rots and the, the the really old look, like he's been, you know, under the ground forever. And then I just colored up. The real the sun is showing off the plastic. But yeah, and I just dirtied him up a bit and stuff. So that's dollar store. Cause uh. Sort of wish it wasn't so bright, but he looks he looks pretty darn good. Yeah, I like it. So yeah, we're gonna be doing our decorating soon, probably tonight starting, and then whenever we get everything done, we ha oh we have a zombie out in the porch. He's seven feet tall. He scared my mom. This, when she came in the door, she, she jumped. <laughs> So I'm sure that the kids are going to get a good scare, you know, it's, it's awesome, he's awesome. And I'm going to show you him, and I'm gonna, we're going to have two other dummies outside, we're going to have the graveyard, the decap, the, the severed parts, um, we're going to have some ghosts, we're going to have all kinds of stuff, like, it's going to, I love Halloween, we're going to have lights and everything, strobe lights. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you, uh, you know, go out and grab some stuff for Halloween, decorate, and get some stuff ready, and, and have fun, you know, be creative, and uh, I'm going to go for now, but I'll be back with another video, alright? So, ciao for now.